Welcome to the awesome DC Comic Con here in Washington DC at the Convention Center. Uh, the first video we have up is from Thedius Crane. We do a little interview with him talking about uh, his experiences on The Walking Dead and uh, what he's going to do for the future. And uh, welcome to the uh, awesome con. First DC comic convention in practically 30 years. What was your experience, what was your experience like working on the, on the show Walking Dead? It was, uh, it was the best job I've worked on so far. The only thing that's been better than that is doing this. Why? What's the difference? Huh? What's the difference? Uh, the difference, it was hotter. <laughs> it was much hotter. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. A lot of really good people. Um, everybody's really talented. A lot of fun to work with them. And, I mean, even though I wasn't as an integral part of the story as others, like, I really enjoyed what they did. Okay, okay. What projects are you uh, working on now? Uh, what projects are you working on now? Uh, I got a movie called Motel coming out. Um, and Star Wars games coming out. We're working on um, a movie called Lights Out. Okay. Um, that's good. also going to be coming out with uh, Daniel Thomas May through his Alan. Okay. He's got him with an Alan. And uh, we're going to come with some stuff and see what else. All right, good. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. Take care. Uh, my name is Ethan Murphy. I'm uh, from Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, and what I'm working here today with is Slate Nash, a graphic novel. I'm a comic book writer myself and a creator. And it's a, it's what I'm actually trying to do, obviously, at this convention is premiere uh, my book, Slate Nash. Mm -hmm. And it's a story of a cop and a zombie that work together to fight other zombies, uh, their own demons, and in the end, they're trying to uh, eventually help, help uh, the young girl. In this world, the zombies actually aren't feral, mindless creatures. They're actually organized. Uh, they're, they're ruthless, but they're actually organized at the bank. And their actual, their plan is to kidnap young women and force them to breed more zombies for them, essentially. Uh, and the cop and the zombie themselves are, are a lot like the cop and the zombie that work together, Slade and Ash, is a lot like Riggs and Murtaugh from Lethal Weapon. Uh, it's a type of buddy comedy, essentially, with, within a horror background. Hmm. Uh, okay. So what got you started? How long were you in the comic business, per se? Sure. I actually went to, uh, to school, uh, media arts and design school in uh, Virginia, James mm -hmm. Madison. I wanted to be a film writer. So I actually got my background in, film, in screenwriting. And uh, I realized that that wasn't as gratifying uh, pretty quickly. But I always loved comic books. I always loved uh, superheroes and even graphic novels, everything from Alan Moore to Brian K. Vaughn and Warren Ellis. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to be able to tell a story uh, in, a, in a kind of like a cinematic tone, but through the pages of it, like still images. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I didn't want to just tell a regular story about like, caping cow or spandex, but I also wanted to tell a story about humans and, and uh, society. Was it difficult putting together your first issue? Uh, yes, it was very difficult. This, is, this, this process took about three and a half years to get here, just here. Wow. Uh, and we only have, we have, we're, we're in production of our third book right now. We're doing the first book, but it took three and a half years just to get here, to raise the money for it get all the equipment, get all the people together. Uh, and my two artists, my team, uh -huh. uh, they actually live um, out, out of country. So emailing them back and forth and trying to communicate with them, it's been a, been a long process. But it's been a, been a very rewarding process too. And I've enjoyed it every time. So you've had this in mind for quite some time. Yeah, I've had it, I've had it in mind for about, uh, about four years. Just hmm. working on the Buckley story. Do you believe kind of like it's a work of love? I do. I, I do. It has to be. Uh, yeah. Because I'm not getting paid for it. I was paying into it, uh, and also I, I feel like even if I wasn't going to get paid at all, I wanted to, I wanted to write the story. I was going to write the story. I was going to try and tell the story. I'm just fortunate enough to actually have a medium and, and hopefully fan some uh, people that want to read it. Uh, so even if no one, if no one picks up this book, this is for me. I'm, I'm happy to look at my own work. I'm just happy to have my own story out there. Uh, do you feel like you're getting out there as a black writer and comic creator? I'd like to be. I'd like to be getting out there uh, as, as, a, as a black writer and just as a writer in general. Uh, and that's also why the character, one of the main characters actually is an African American himself. It's not about trying to be an African American vehicle, but just to show that African Americans can be just as much a hero as anybody else. And how can we find this comic online? 
Sure. Actually, uh, the easiest way to find us is we're on Facebook. Uh -huh. Let's go on Facebook and type in Slate Nash, or if you go online, SlateNash.com, it'll come up on Facebook. Do you sell online or do you sell digital copies? We will be after this convention. We will be actually we will be distributing this book online. You can go to monkey, MonkeyPipeStudios.com, pick us up there, okay. and also IndiePlanet.com. So okay. pick us up there. And we're trying, we're trying to work right now to deal with a neighbor here. Okay. Uh, actually, some books on the yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's not done yet. <laughs>